baby mom or right. the kid. You know, I try not. I, I'm not a negative thinker like that. You know what I mean? Okay. Unless there's like a physical proof of it. You know, I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't create assumptions in my head. Got you. you know? I got you. I got you. All right. So you 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 get outside. Uh, you on your way back to the car. That's when you decided to. That's when you decided to call the cops. What was the What was the conversation and what was the <laughs> outcome on that part? All right, so I had called the dispatcher, and I had told her I was, hey, I am a DoorDash delivery driver, and I had a delivery. Um, I had did a delivery, and I had been assaulted by a bag of bread. And you can hear her, like, it goes silent for a second. Mm-hmm. And she's like, can you re- please repeat that? <laughs> and I had told her, she, <laughs> and, like, I can hear it in her voice. Like, you can, you know how you can hear someone smile through a phone? Right. And, like, that, that, because it kept on going silent every time I said, I said bread, like, four different times. <laughs> she's, she's like, ma'am, are you hurt? And you can hear the crackle in her voice, like, from, like, trying not to laugh. And, you know, I explained the situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then she had sent out the cop. Um, so the police, <laughs> the police came out. Did you did and you like, did you it, did you have to wait did did you have to wait for the cop to come out at at the place where you made the call or did you go somewhere safe and then drove Yeah, back I actually yeah, I I went down the block to the park that's down the block from where I had delivered it. Okay. Um so I was at the I was at the because I don't want to stay there cuz you never know. Right. You know, I got hit by I just got hit by a bag of bread. You know what I mean? Right. So I just got I just you know, I got somewhere safe. Um and like I didn't want to sit there and say like I was assaulted by bread because I, <laughs> as, as stupid as it sounds, it was like people are sitting there saying like, oh, there's a non-emergency line for that. I'm like, well, you know, I'm just, I'm just putting, I'm putting the report through because, you know, I'm about to get, I'm about to secure this bag with DoorDash, you know, right. like one of your, you know, your people sat there and assaulted me with some bread and I'm making the report through, I'm going to send you the report because if I decide to, you know, you know, you know, sue DoorDash for me being assaulted, Mm -hmm. you know, I have proof of, of ligament, uh, I said ligament, um, legal documentation. Yeah. Legitimate um, documentation of a report, you know, so they can't sit there and go word of mouth, you know, they're like, Oh, you know, how come you didn't make a report or how come this or how come that? I'm not going to pursue charges. I don't even, I, it was just funny. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but uh, the cop, the cop was, the cop part was even funnier to me. So what, um, so when the cops, when, got, when the cops got there, did, did you, did you guys go back to the, to the house and was you able to get any, any type of video or any, what, what was the conversation between him and the, and, and the wrong bad guy? <laughs> so um that when that happened we didn't go to the location because he asked me if i want to pursue any charges or any of that and i said no you know what i mean i think it was just more funnier me catching it on video and me posting it online because that's just hilarious because that doesn't just happen to anybody mm-hmm. you know let me just order a bag of bread to get a bag of bread tossed at me you know right. like that doesn't happen in everyday life so, like, I felt like it was more worth it me getting a video of it than you actually pressing charges on a guy. If it was a, if it was cans of beans and all this at a six pack of Corona, if it was more heavier items inside the bag, then we're, then it's a different story. But it's a bag of bread. As long as I got the police report, I didn't even care. I'm not, for, I wasn't going to press charges on the guy. But when the cop pulled up, I'm telling you, the biggest smile was on this cop's face, and I try to and I try to be serious. But this, I there's actually the video. I have the video up. Um, I did the second video. I put the I posted the part two up. Okay. Um, so he had you can see the biggest smile on his face, and like you can see that he wanted to laugh, but he was trying to keep it really professional. Mm-hmm. And he's taking he's taking my statement, and um, he was like, so what? <laughs> What was you assaulted by? And I told him a bag of bread. He was like, a bag of bread. And I don't know if he was trying to be funny or not. He was like, what kind of bread was it? Like, so I thought he was just trying to clown me because I got hit by a bag of bread. Like, it was like his little insider that I wasn't going to catch on. But I did caught on to it. And I do have it on the field, too. Um, 
but like towards the end of the like towards the end of the video like he just starts cracking up he says listen ma'am i'm sorry but this is the most funniest call that i had ever gotten and i started dying laughing i'm like listen i was just trying to keep it serious and professional right right because you, just trying to you know do, it you, is you just trying to do <laughs> you just trying to do your job you know your every your, your everyday job and and these are and to be honest with you you know, I, I I do feel for you guys because, like I said, I, I used to drive Uber and I I used to have some fucking assholes, like seriously, bro. But uh, but you guys, I really give it to you guys because I mean, it's like it's it's like these these new technology apps is taking is lightweight taking advantage of you guys. You know what I'm saying? The the to make to to make some you know some extra cash and all like that while the you know while the big tech giants behind the scenes is making buku money but the people that actually doing it and 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 making the app a success it's only making pennies you know so yep, and, and, and dollar. right and to go out to get assaulted by assholes like that you know that's not that's not even that's not even cool. So did you did 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 you call what well, did of course you made a police report, but did you call DoorDash? Is there is there like a a, a manager you could talk to, like an area manager? Because back then when I started Uber, it wasn't nobody that we can call for like you know, for like drivers issues, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, this is the new, you know, this is 2021 apps has came a long way since the, since the iteration. So is, was there anybody that you could talk to or did you have to send in like an email letting them know that you got assaulted by one of their, uh, patrons of the app? So they actually have, um, customer representative for DoorDash. Um, there's not specifically like, a higher up person is just kind of like a person that just answers the phone, like a representative. And they're just, I guess they just make the decision whether or not they're going to ban the person from the app. So when I had called them, I had told them and you know, like they were saying, they said what, like four different times and they kind of didn't believe the situation. And I told them like, and I kind of got pissed because I'm just like, what about this guy sits there and decides to throw another bag of bread at somebody else? <laughs> You know, I'm like saying that, but, but I'm being funny in my head, but I'm kind of being serious as well, you know, um, because like, you know, like it can be worse next time. It can be a freaking a can of beans inside of the bag and then, you right. know, it somebody gets tossed at somebody. Somebody could have actually got hurt. You, you could have got hurt, even if it was just a bag of, bag of bread. I mean, you still could have got hurt. You could have got bruised. You could have, you, you could have lost he could have hit you and you could have fell off the stairs because you were still on the stairs when you got hit, right? Yeah, I was. And I was a couple and I was, you know, I was like about, you know, four to five steps before, you know, hitting the ground down there, you know? Right. You could have, you, you could have got, you could have got knocked out. He could have assaulted you some more, you know, physically. Yeah, but, and the uh, dog could have came out, could have right. bit me because I'm on the ground and I couldn't. Yeah, so like there's a there's a bigger scenario than me getting hit by a bag of bread. Right. So you 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 explaining that to them, and and you said they giving you like a hard time. Are you serious? Yeah, they were giving me a hard time because they was like that this doesn't happen, that these are contactless deliveries, but like and the, like in the description. Some of them do say contact. Like majority of them say contactless, and then other ones were like, you know, make the delivery, you know, hand it, hand the order to the person. So I guess you know I handed the person, you know, handed the order to the person because I'm doing what, I, what the app says. Um, and then they just kind of use it as that I should have known better. I should have just left it at their door and took a picture of it and kept it moving. But on the app, on the door at DoorDash app, um, when you make a delivery, it says you either handed it to the person or right. you left it at the door. If I left it at the door, I would take a picture of it and it will send over. But wow. I put it, I, I handed the order to the person. So, the, so DoorDash, the representative that you was talking to, is trying to make you like, trying to make you like the bad guy, pretty much. It's it's your fault because you got 
hit with uh you you got hit with a bag of bread pretty much yeah yeah because they look up so when i was so i since i've been driving for some time i did get a few violations as well mm -hmm. um like i had there's a lot i have wait, a lot of videos wait, wait, of, wait, wait. you know how did, wait how can how the hell you can get violations on the DoorDash? i mean pick up the food take it to the person how the hell you can get violations on that so so the <laughs> tell, tell us so me, i have please. gotten uh, okay okay so i actually have this video up too on my tiktok so on this order it was a mcflurry they ordered a mcflurry from mcdonald's that's it okay it was about 94 degrees okay 94 degrees outside it's okay hot. They told me, yes, it's hot outside. You have an ice cream. That ice cream is already melting while it's in my car. Exactly. Yes, my AC's on and every and the AC's on and everything. Okay, you know, but it's melting. It's not melting extremely, but you can see it's melting. Okay. The person, the person had told me to leave it outside, of, in front of their house. What? You know, drop it off. And I told them I had texted them. I was like, listen, it's hot outside. I don't want to leave your ice cream out because your ice cream is gonna melt. I waited about 15 minutes, like at least 10 to 15 minutes. I waited because I didn't want to leave their ice cream outside because their ice cream was going to melt. Right. Okay, whatever. They insisted on me to leave it. They didn't want to come grab it. All right, whatever. I had left it. At this point, like five minutes later, I get a phone call. My ice cream melted. I told you not to leave it outside. But nobody was coming outside to come get it. So then they put the violation through that um, they put... That I didn't leave the I didn't leave the order where I was supposed to leave it at. But they also minute. put wait, that. Tizzy, wait, 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 wait. Let's <laughs> rewind this for a second. Yes. Yeah, you they didn't they they didn't they they wanted you to they wanted you to leave it, but you was nice enough to wait an extra fifteen minutes for somebody to come and get it because it was ice cream. Yes. They want so exactly. you you told them that it was it was ice cream and it was gonna melt anyway. What the fuck they was thinking? I don't know, and you know I don't want to sit there and throw race in it, but you know, wow, they were kind of caring. Wow. They were caring. I'll tell you that. Wow, you, you mean to tell me they 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 they, they, they ordered a fucking McFlurry. Of all things, and then turn around and then turn around and call DoorDash to complain. What? Yeah, I had got my account got suspended for a couple of days for that. Wow, I'm I'm sorry. But I submitted I submitted proof I submitted proof I submitted the text messages mm -hmm. like all of it literally like if you want to like whenever you're done with this podcast if you want to take a stroll through my TikTok you'll see the you'll oh, see no, all the no, videos no, no, all no, no, my no, no. videos went, are I went, there. I went through your video. <laughs> I went through your videos. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh definitely check her check her out on uh TikTok guys. It's uh Tizzy Bays. All right. Make sure you guys uh go and follow her. Um man, Tizzy, yo, I, I, I do appreciate you coming on and uh and taking this time and chopping it up with me and uh <laughs> and and giving us a little bit of horror stories about uh <laughs> about DoorDash, man. Um you know, definitely, I, I, I definitely wanted to make sure that you stay safe out there because some of these, you know, some of these guys that use these 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 apps, you know, they their intentions is not good. So, you know, you no, know, I completely understand. There's actually one person, you know, that I actually did post on um, on Facebook and I told everybody on my Facebook, like I have a large follow on my Facebook and I told them whoever lives in my area. Do not accept this order under this person's name. And then I had multiple comments on it. Like, they was like, yeah, this person's creepy. Da, 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 da. Because, like, when you're making the order, he lives on a dead-end street. Mm -hmm. And his house is covered by, like, bushes and leaves. You can't even see the walkway. Mm. So this person, like, he's scared that he's standing behind the door. But you know how, like, on the top of the door you have, like, a mirror, like, the window on top of the door? Mm -hmm. So this guy is, like, about six-something. Because, mm -hmm. like, a door itself is about, like, six to seven feet. Mm -hmm. Well, like, six and a half feet at least. Mm -hmm. And, like, this guy, you can see this guy's face perfectly fine through the top of the door. So this is a big guy. 
this is a big old, this is a big guy. He's a heavy set guy too. Cause he came out one time. I had his order a couple of times. Um, and he wanted, I was carrying, um, I was carrying a case of water and he told me to hand him his water. I'm like, I told him, I'm not going to hand you your water. I'm going to leave your water right here because I can't even see the stairs. I'm like, and it's so, it's like the house is so creepy. It's like on some wrong turn shit, like no bullshit. Like it's on some wrong turn and like, it's just covered. You can't even see the house. And then there's a couple of times that I had went to the house. There's a minivan parked in front of the house. So you have this big guy who doesn't want to come show his face. He wants you to hand an order to him, let alone like the house is just creepy as shit. What about somebody sitting in the van and kind of scoops you and, you know, this guy comes, snatches your arm and drags you inside the house. Then what happens? Nobody's going to know. Exactly. Nobody ain't going to know shit because this house is covered, covered with leaves, bushes. Like you can't like you, you can only see a little bit of the door, but you can see the man looking at you when you're making the delivery. But, like, it's just, I posted up online, and it's just, a lot of people said, like, they don't take the orders because, like, it's just scary. It's just downright scary. Like, people had a couple comments in there saying that, you know, he asked weird questions. And, like, this is, like, about, like, a 350-pound 300, guy. Have you? Let alone he's about six. Hmm? Have you, have you had orders that you, that you, you know, that you accepted and you, you get to the house or you do get to the neighborhood and you just say to yourself, nah, have you, have you had orders like that, that you actually turned back around and, and took the order back and, and, and call them up and be like, yo, I'm, I'm, I apologize, but you know, due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm not able to bring the order to you. Have, have you, yeah. have you done that? Be, have you done that? A couple of times when I did like, you know, my night, like, you know, when I'm driving at nighttime, mm -hmm. I'm like, I do everything during the day and I'll stop like about seven o'clock. Once that sun goes down, I'm done. Okay. I, I'm done yeah, that, because I'm, I'm only, I'm about four eleven. Okay. And I'm, a, I'm 135 pounds. So, you know, when you have a big guy coming at you, I, there's only so much, God forbid, but there's only so much that I can do. I'm, I'm tiny, you know? Right. So like. I take precautions, you know, to myself, like, and doing night thing, like doing driving at nighttime, you know, everything, ha like anything can happen d during all times of day, but, you know, to be more on the safer side, you know, I've been to h neighborhoods where, you know, the porch light doesn't turn on or the back light doesn't turn on, or there's like people hanging outside of the front of the house and, you know, they're sitting there, Hey, walk inside the gate, drop it off here. Absolutely not. I left it in front of the gate. Like, I'm not crossing my boundary. Like, it's just a lot of, like, fuck shit that I've had gone through. But I'm just saying, like, absolutely not. I'm not driving at night time anymore. Okay. So there has been, uh, so there has been times that you, 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 you done that. Like, you know, huh. Uh, this, this don't look, uh, this don't look kosher. Let me, let me go ahead and turn back around and, and, and give the order back to McDonald's. Have you have any, have you had any blowback from that when you, when you took the order back? to to the restaurant and be like look um you know for whatever reason i you know didn't want to you know uh 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 you know take the order to them because you know safety precautions and all like that but did you have any blowback from the restaurant or from the app itself um i actually had one one time it was chick-fil-a mm -hmm. um you know chick-fil-a is about you know about having their customers satisfied and, you know, they're like to the T when it comes to their orders. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, I kind of had like a little backlash when it came between me and like the restaurant because, you know, they want their money, mm -hmm. you know, they want their money. They don't like wasting their food. They want to make sure that they're getting paid for their food. And it was like a kind of a big back and forth between me and them. And I had got reported and I had gotten another violation for that, um, for that situation. Yeah, but, but I, I you peeled it. Felt, right, you you felt that it wasn't safe for you to, it it wasn't safe for you on that on that delivery. What they couldn't understand that. Yeah, but you know when it comes to you know, like like not to bring up color, but right. when it comes to you know the opposite, you know I'm Spanish, so like when it comes to a later a later culture than mine, mm -hmm. um. When it comes to a white person, I didn't want to sit there and be, you know, and, and direct any any colored person. But when it comes to white people, you know, 
they're and like you know they own the business they they're about their money and you know it's like they're you know they want to be caring about situations even you, though you, you, just you know feel, karen can be you just feel that they 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 feel entitled pretty much yeah exactly right all right well that's crazy man that's crazy so uh what's the so what would be the what would be the end game with uh with doordash you 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 think you're gonna you think you're gonna continue doing it uh or are you just gonna take another hiatus what where where are we at right now with doordash um honestly i noticed like i like doing the doordash um i don't mind it because it's just funny because you know i get my funny skits from it mm. you know i noticed you that you know my, a lot of my yes i noticed a lot of my my viewings are from DoorDash because you know how like when you find your niche for TikTok, mm -hmm. you know, that's where you're drawing in, you know, more people. And I noticed that, you know, everybody likes the DoorDash story. That's so, you know, I just probably might do it just, you know, just to kind of see what, what fuck shit that I come across. That's but other than that, like, it's not like something that I'm going to do consistently like I used to, you know, now that my kids already are back to school, you know, I was doing it, you know, save money put money aside from them now that they're in school they got everything that they need for school you know i'm kind of slowing down on the TikTok. i mean on the on the doordash and driving but is it something that i'm gonna stop cold turkey probably not because you know i love me a good laugh when it comes to some fuck shit that i come across have you have you done ha have you done uh any any other type of ride share like uber lyft or any yeah i did uber and lyft what was what's what's uh before we get on up out of here and i know i'm taking a little bit more of your time and i do appreciate you giving i was it to fine me. i ain't i ain't do i'm not doing anything else today i'm off today i'm just kind of chilling out in the house okay that's what's <laughs> up what's uh what was um what was what's some of the funny stories you got for us uh doing one of your uber or lyft times um one of my funny stories i could say um when i was doing lyft um I actually had picked up a couple of dancers okay. um, from the strip club. I picked up a couple of dancers from the strip club and they were insisted, you know, that I was this pretty girl, that I would make a lot of money in there. And I kind of felt like they were trying to pimp me out for a second. <laughs> like they were just <laughs> uh, trying to do, try, try to do you like, uh, like, like the girl on, uh, on a uh, players club and shit. Like, yeah, you know, don't, don't, yes. don't let the money make you. You make the money. You know, you make the a money, lot of money yeah. on your dollar bills. Players club, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so like, I really thought they they were just trying to pimp me out because like they look like their story, like they had it, like you know. Like the like the conversations back to back between the late there was three ladies and like the way that they were talking to like they already talked their game to people. You know what I mean? It's not just a random conversation. You see a pretty girl, hey, you should come dance at this club. You know? And then, you know, they were asked they was like, Oh, you know, if I give you a tip, can we do you know, can we sniff some you know, can we do some cocaine in the back of your chair, you know, what? your seat? You know, we'll no. we'll throw you extra tip. And I, I told him, I'm like, you know, I you can't do all that. But, you know, they threw me a hundred dollar tip. I'm like, go ahead, sniff away. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Well, Tizzy, man, thank you very much again for coming on to the show. You are a citizen. So whenever you have any uh, crazy, you know, crazy comedy skits or crazy stories that you wanna that you wanna share with us, you definitely are welcome to come back on to the show. Uh guys, make sure you follow Tizzy Bays on TikTok. Um uh, uh Facebook up under the same name as well or no? You 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 more? Yeah, it's under the first yep. It's gonna be T I Z Z Y B A E Z. So it's gonna be under TikTok as well as my first and last name. All right, all right. That is what's up. Tizzy, you stay safe today. You know what I'm saying? Stay safe. Make sure your kids and your family is safe. And, uh, again, I appreciate you coming on to the show. 
I think I thank you for having me. This is actually one of like my first times actually being on a podcast and somebody interviewing about my like my wild life. <laughs> you know, um, I really appreciate it, and I hope to be on your show again. No doubt, no doubt. You, I, I would definitely uh, if if I come up with some. If I come up with some topics or something like that, I'll shoot, you know, I'll shoot a text to you or shoot an email to you, see if you're interested, and uh, and we can go ahead and get a back and forth dialogue going. That'd be cool. That'd be swell. I appreciate it. I I appreciate it as well. I'll stay in touch. I'll let you know. You'll uh, probably what? hear from me within like a week with some stuff. Oh, uh, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. You you'll probably be our resident DoorDasher. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh-huh. hello, it's me again. No doubt, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. Well, you stay safe. Like I said, you know, the Northeast. You know, I'm a truck driver. You know, you you can have all of that stuff up there. I'm, I'm not saying. a big fan of. No, I'm not a big fan of Boston, even though I'm from here. You know, it is what it is. I don't like Boston myself, but hey, hey I lived here my whole life. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is up there. All right, man, you stay safe, take care of the kids, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right, you too. Talk to you soon. All right, now. Thank you for having me again. You're welcome. All right, bye.